Welcome to the tutorial on Introduction to LibreOffice Impress. In this tutorial, we will learn Introduction to LibreOffice Impress, various toolbars in Impress, how to create a new presentation, how to save as MS PowerPoint presentation, how to open an MS PowerPoint presentation, and how to export as a PDF document in Impress. LibreOffice Impress is the presentation manager of the LibreOffice Suite. It is used to create powerful presentations. It is the equivalent of Microsoft Office PowerPoint. LibreOffice Impress is a free, open source software, free of cost and free to use and distribute. To get started with LibreOffice Suite, you can use either Microsoft Windows 2000 and its higher versions like MS Windows XP or MS Windows 7 or you can use GNU Linux as your operating system. Here we are using Ubuntu Linux version 10.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. If you do not have LibreOffice Suite installed, Impress can be installed by using Synaptic Package Manager. For more information on Synaptic Package Manager, please refer to the Ubuntu Linux tutorials on this website and download LibreOffice Suite by following the instructions on this website. Detailed instructions are available in the first tutorial of LibreOffice Suite. Remember, when installing, use the complete option to install Impress. If you have already installed LibreOffice Suite, you will find LibreOffice Impress by clicking on the Applications option at the top left of your screen and then clicking on Office and then on LibreOffice option. A new dialog box opens up with various LibreOffice components. In order to access LibreOffice Impress, click on the Presentation component. In the new dialog box, click on Create. This will open an empty presentation in the main Impress window. Now let us learn about the main components of the Impress window. The Impress window has various toolbars like the Title Bar, the Menu Bar, the Standard Toolbar, the Formatting Bar, and the Status Bar. We will learn more about the toolbars as the tutorials progress. We are now ready to work on our first presentation. Now close this file. Let us go to Applications. Click on Office. Then click on LibreOffice Impress. Click on From Template. Select Recommendation of a Strategy and click on the Next button. In the Select a Slide Design drop-down, select Presentation Backgrounds. Then select Blue Border. In the Select an Output Medium field, select Original. Click on the Next button. This is the step for building slide transitions. Leave all the options as they are and click on Next. In the What is your name field, you can type your name or your organization's name. I will type A1 Services. In the What is the subject of your presentation field, type Benefits of Open Source. Click on Next. This step describes the presentation. All the options are selected by default. Don't change anything. They are sample headings for the presentation. Click on the Create button. You have now created your first presentation in LibreOffice Impress. Now let's learn how to save the presentation. Click on File and Save. The Save dialog box will open. We will name this file as Sample Impress and click on the Save button. Note that the Impress Open Document format will be saved with the extension .odp. Now we will close the file. To close the presentation, click on File and Close. Next, let's learn how to save a LibreOffice Impress presentation as a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. We will open the Sample Impress presentation again. Click on File and Open and select Sample Impress. 
By default, the LibreOffice Impress saves document in the Open Document Format ODP. To save a presentation as Microsoft PowerPoint, click on File and Save As. In the file type, choose Microsoft PowerPoint. Choose the location to save the file. Click on the Save button. Click on Keep Current Format button. The file is now saved as a PPT. Let's close this file by clicking on File and Close. Next, we will see how to open a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation in LibreOffice Impress. Click on File and Open. Browse for the PPT file you want to open. Select the file and click on Open. Finally, we will now learn how to export a LibreOffice Impress presentation as a PDF file. Click on File and Export as PDF. In the PDF Options dialog box, leave all the options as they are and click on the Export button. In the File Name field, type Sample Impress. In the Save In Folder field, choose the location where you want to save the file and click on Save. The document has now been saved as a PDF file on the desktop. This brings us to the end of this tutorial on LibreOffice Impress. To summarize, we learned Introduction to LibreOffice Impress, Various Toolbars in Impress, How to Create a New Presentation, how to save as a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, how to open an MS PowerPoint presentation, and how to export as a PDF document in Impress. Try this comprehensive assignment. Open a new document. Write some text in the first slide. Save it as an MS PowerPoint document. Then close it. Now reopen the file you have saved. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT-MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Desi Crew Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.